students welcome back to Bo school campus vision YouTube channel of Kotiam Don Bosco College I am Rani R faculty member of postgraduate department of English this time I am here with the paper methodology and perspectives of humanities which is the core paper for sixth semester BA English language and literature students of Kerala University this is the second lecture of the series and in this lecture I would like to continue the introductory remarks to the paper. So what is humanities? Humanities deal with each and every aspect of man's life on earth. It probes every facet of the social fabric, human life, marginalized and exhausted sections of society, ecology, etc. Then, the greatest task before humanity are to ensure food security to millions, knowing and preserving our environment, obliterating ignorance through education and understanding multifarious cultures and un cultivating an inclusive policy. So, what is, what is the greatest task before humanity? What is the, why we people are living? What is the greatest task before humanity? To ensure food security to millions. So that is a prime thing to ensure food securities to millions of people. Then knowing and preserving our environment. That is another important thing to understand our environment. Then obliterating ignorance through education. Through education we are wiping out the ignorance. And the last one is understanding multifarious cultures. So we people are Indians and we are living in a, in a nation nation who accept different cultures so understanding multifarious culture and cultivating an inclusive policy so these are all the greatest tasks before humanity then until the first quarter of the 19th century higher education was denied to many people only men were allowed to attend classes and they had to be believers in the anglican church the only subjects taught in the universities were ancient Greek, Latin literature, divinity and mathematics. English literature was at that time included in 1828 at King's College London which later becomes London University. William James Durant in his work The Story of Civilization writes Civilization is a social order it promoting cultural creation. Four elements constitute it. Four, actually four elements constitute the civilization according to William James Durant. The first one is economic provision. Second one is political organization. Third one is moral traditions and pursuit of knowledge. And the last one is arts. So, Civilization actually constitute according to William James Durand. He mentioned about civilization in the book The Story of Civilization and according to him four elements of civilization are economic provision, political organization, moral traditions and the pursuit of knowledge and finally the arts. It begins where Caius and in his security enter. So where does civilization begins? It begins where chaos and insecurities and where the problem ends, there begins civilization. And for when fear is overcome, curiosity and constructiveness are free and man passes by natural impulse towards the understanding and embellishment of life. So whenever the fear is overcome, curiosity and constructiveness are free and man passes by natural impulse towards the understanding and embellishment of life. Then only we can achieve civilization. So this is the best explanation given by William Durant. Uh, and it is effectively quoted by Dr. K. Kamala in this, in this particular textbook. So this is very important. Dear students, please go through the text. Art, music and literature. They are great power sources. And they can be used as a tool during crisis situation to change a hopeless condition. For example, uh, here Dr. Kamala effectively noted one thing about Bilbao effect. 
Bilbao if, Bilbao is actually a city in Spain it is an example of how art and culture or how art and aesthetic can bring about miraculous changes in a country so in that country during the time of the last decades of 20th century unemployment and other uh, economic crises were happened at that time the authorities decided to establish an art museum and they established it and in that museum trade unions administrators political parties and all the public they united under the banner of this museum that means under the banner of art so this astounding unity of people and the resultant propriety could not be achieved by anything other than art so we can see that art music and literature these three things art music and literature these three things are the great power source power sources and it can be used as tool during the crisis situation to change a hopeless condition now let's discuss is the importance of humanities in the present day context all subjects coming under humanities require serious study because they enrich quality of life the need of studying humanities is far and wide literature criticism linguistics history philology arts and religion they provide meaning and value to human lives so they are different disciplines of humanities so every subjects like this literature criticism linguistics so all these have a relation with human life that is why these are all part of humanities and these disciplines tells how an individual's life contribute to social life the arts also teach one how to balance emotions and intellect it highlights language as one of the greatest tools ever invented by man okay my dear students now let's check what are the circumstances which leads to the social existence of humanity and as i mentioned earlier we are all living in the time where the scientific growth and technological inventions are rapid So, so we are all living by enjoying this material comforts but we have to human beings how to understand the need for the relation mutual relationship sound relationship with nature so subjects coming under the banner of humanities go deep into how to improve the quality of life so in order to live a complete life man has to take into consideration of everything everything that means living non living and all there is absolutely nothing in this universe meant to exist in isolation so interdependence is nature's order and it is an integral way society has to progress so my dear students with this i am concluding so from this lecture uh, in this lecture i have discussed the need for a sound relationship with human beings and nature that is very essential thing okay dear students with this i am concluding today's class please do the homework and send me through whatsapp thank you have a nice time